Hello guys, um, welcome to Mathematics and Form. It's Jacob, and today we are focusing on uh, the first chapter of of your Maths and Form, which is uh, equations, uh, manipulation, and word problems. So only a part of it today, which is exponents. Very short uh, chapter. So I want to keep this video very short, under ten minutes, if possible. Okay, let's get started. So before anything, I want us to discuss quickly the basic exponent rules. So first of all, your normal exponent. We know if I have, let's say, two exponent x equals two, two exponent y. So we know if the bases are the same, we know it means the exponents are equal. You know that right so another thing if i have two exponent x plus one equals two okay we know we can expand this as two exponent x times two exponent one right that's another thing which is important but another thing i'd love everyone to know especially for this part of this chapter it's this one if i have two exponent x equals to let's say this time it's not four let's say it's three we know we cannot make three be base of two right so the only way to solve this is by applying your log or your lean is applying your log so some people use lean some people use log so i'll do two of them so let me do this i have log this side i have lean that side so we know with log we know the a two is the base remember we're looking for x so x should be the answer and this is log remember if you say this aloud it's 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 base two exponent x so which means base is here because we know this number below is the base so obviously three should be there it's base two exponent x but now, how do you do it with, um, with what? With your lean. With lean, this is what you're going to do. If I have 2 exponent x equals to 3, you're going to apply natural log both sides. Lean. Not in. People usually say in. It's lean. It's natural log. You apply it both sides. So what happens is this x will come in front. It will be x lean 2 equals to lean 3 then from here you divide both sides by lean 2 then you put this in the calculator if i say because you can use calculator for this uh, questions then i get 1.584 i want to show you something let's put this in the calculator also log base 2 of 3 is 1.584 so you see it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same even it's the same as saying from here you also apply log both sides you apply log both sides what happens your x will go before your log then what happens if i want to solve x i divide by log 2 so i'll have x equals to log 3 over log 2 Remember, if I'm dividing by log, I can just put it at the base. So you see, it's the same thing. So lean and log work almost uh, the same way. So let's do examples. You see, we already have five minutes. Okay, this is 2021 exam. They were saying solve for x. They gave you 3 exponent 2x lin, uh, lin of lin 3. So you can put this whole thing in the calculator if you want. You get an answer, you write it. But first of all, we must deal with this. We must expand this. We know we can change that to be 2x times 3 exponent 1. We know that. If this was minus 1, it would be times 3 exponent minus 1. But it's plus 1, so it's positive 1. Then lean. I'm not going to put this in calculator because I'm avoiding rounding off and 
at the end i'm getting an answer which is uh not the same as the memo which differs slightly so i'll leave it as it is so remember my target is to solve for x so i have to get rid of that other three so i'm dividing both sides by this three exponent one so i'll have lean lean three over three guys don't cancel three and three that's not mathematically correct don't cancel it when you get here you can use calculator you can say lean then inside lean you put another lean of three then you divide by three your answer is zero point let's make it a bit long so that it doesn't affect your rounding of 0 0.3134 i'll say five because it's four nine you see this is what i have i have three exponent two x equals to 0 0.03135 now how do i solve this you can do you can apply lean both sides or apply log or basically say i'm looking for 2x which means my 2x is answer then i'll have log remember 3 is the base 0 0.03135 then you put this in the calculator okay let me make space here for something then you put that in the calculator you have log base 2 0 0.03135 I have negative negative four comma nine nine five. Let's say nine nine five four. Okay, five. This is two x. So x it means I must still divide by two. If I divide by two, I have negative two comma four nine eight. Go it to three the small place unless the question says otherwise. You see, remember the other way. If you didn't want to do it like this. From here, you apply log or lean both sides. You choose. So if I apply lean both sides, I'll have this. Then we know here 2x will come before your lean. Then here I have lean of that. Now what must I do? I must apply both, I must divide both sides by. 313 by lean 3. So if I divide both sides by lean 3, I'll have lean of 0 0.03135 divided by lean 3. Then check my answer. It's negative. Is it lean, lean 3? What did I do? I didn't do something correct. 0 0.30315 over lean 3 why am i not getting the same thing i'm getting negative negative 3 comma 1517 yes this is not the same answer let's see where i might have went wrong okay i applied lean both sides i have 2x lean 3 at lean of 0 0.0 okay let's let's confirm the log oh this one is wrong i said log base 3 no it's correct but when i substituted this one i said base 2 let me substitute base 3 maybe some of you saw it when you're doing it but i remember what i substituted you see this is this was wrong i said i used base 2 instead of base 3 when i substituted so this is sorry this is negative 3 you see if i was in class I, I would have been corrected long ago one seven you see this is exactly what i got then the last step is to just divide by two these mistakes happen imagine if you're in exam you're alone no one's to correct you and in exam there's no time to do uh, many steps you just do one step you're done yeah, this is the answer. This is 2x. If you divide by 2, you get here. So, either way, you should get it correct if you do it proper. So, it's either you do normal log or you do your lean. Okay, here's the next one. This one is a bit trickier, but we will do it. Okay, let's see. Let's see first. We know the first thing we can do is to separate this. This is 2 exponent 2. To separate this, 
this is 6 this is multiply 6 minus 3 right now at least we must get rid of 1 minus 3 we know okay just that I need space we know minus 3 will be easier to work with because okay this is 4 if you say 6 exponent minus 3 it will be okay let me do it 6 exponent minus 3 it will be 1 over 216 so I can just multiply 216 with that 4 so I'll have minus this 216 times 4 if I cross multiply because I don't want fractions if I multiply it by 4 I have 864 then this side I have 6, 2 exponent. Uh, X there. Am I, is everything, does everything look correct? Yeah, everything looks fine. So now, how do we solve this one? You apply, this time you can use that log method. Because you see we have exponents both sides. So if you use log, you use it the same way as lean. So I'm going to apply lean both sides it under 1064 I'm going to apply lean both sides so now let's go back to our log rule I hope we still remember this log if I have log of x times y this is the same as log x plus log y if they were dividing it will be log x minus log y so this is what we have because two exponent this and okay but another easy way now i see it another easy way okay let's finish this up but another easy way which you should do i will do it after this one okay let's finish this up so this will be lin 2 minus x plus lin lean and log is the same principle and this side will be what this side there's no plus so we just take 2x outside so we have lean 6 so let's so here i'll have minus x lean 2 because we take minus x downwards that's lean 864 2x lean 6 so let's substitute our links if i say lean 2 lean 2 it's it's 0 0.693x lin 864 it's 6 comma sorry 6 comma my pen jumped what's your pen here something has jumped Okay, six comma six comma seven six two. Then if I go that side, I have two x times lin six. If I say lin six, I have one point seven. Okay, I don't have space. One point seven nine one. I'll leave it there. Then now if I group my x's together, I'll have six point seven six two. If I take this the other side to multiply that 2 times 1.791 uh, plus 0 0.06 0 0.693 I have what I have 4 comma 275 this is okay x it's like times this x this one is x so if I solve for x I'll have 6. 7.62 divide by 4.275 I have 1.582 this is my answer but this was long let me show you easy way okay so you can rewind the video and copy the steps now I'm erasing here let me show you easy way if you have exponents both sides don't expand like this Okay, let me this erasing is taking too long. Okay, if you have exponent both sides, apply lean from the beginning, straight from the beginning, or log, which which 
whichever one you prefer if you have exponents both sides then what happens if i apply lin uh, your minus x plus 2 will come down then you are left with lin 2 your 2x plus 2x minus 3 or i am i getting plus 2 2x minus 3 will come down then i'm left with lin 6 so now let's do what is lin 2 if i substitute lin 2 i'm getting 0 0.693 0 0.693 it's multiplying x plus 2 okay something is wrong i think it's not right okay now i'm doing lin 6 that side lin 6 is 1.792 multiplying 2x minus 3 there so now multiply everything in the bracket i'll have 6 0 0.693x plus 0 0.693 multiplied by 2 it's 1.386 i want to show you we have to get the same answer but this one it's uh, easier so 1.792 times 2x there we have 3.584 x if i multiply it by 3 1.792 times 3 i have 5 comma negative 5 comma 376 so now let's group like terms i'm taking the 0 0.693 the other side so i'll have 3 comma 584 minus 0 0.693 so i'm having 2 comma 89 891x so if i'm taking negative 5 the other side i'll have 1 comma 386 plus 5 comma 376 so i have 6 comma 762 now i have to divide both sides by 2,891 and my answer is not what i was hoping for okay we'll confirm where we went wrong quickly actually i hate checking the mistakes every time three three nine oh yeah we can see where we went wrong right it's here let me fix it quick quick it's here remember this was let me use red pen remember this was minus x plus 2 so we didn't put minus here on x we didn't put minus minus x plus 2 so which means this should be minus so if i take it the other side it's going to be positive so it will be 3 comma 584 plus 0 comma 693 which makes this to be 4 comma 28 yeah now if you say 6.762 divided by 4 comma 28 did i get 4 comma 28 exactly yeah now you're getting 1 comma 1 comma 5799 which is close 5 comma 8 1 comma 586 because here we rounded off uh, many times but it's the same answer so i prefer personally i prefer applying lean every time even if it's that normal one we have just a, a simple log if you apply lean it works better because this is the method you're going to use uh, when you when you make subject of the formula in in, in in other topic in the other topic of this chapter so you have to understand it clearly Okay, uh, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.